Alright, today I'm going to give you guys a detailed look at this Mesco figure and it is from their 112 collective line and this is the Punisher and uh, there's the box. So let's take a look at the figure and the accessories. Alright, and here we have Punisher outside the packaging and uh, let's look at the accessories first because he does come with uh, quite a bit. First we have the Punisher base with a translucent rod. And then uh, as far as weapon weaponry, uh, we have a rifle with the removable magazine, so you can interchange that. A grenade launcher with six extra uh, six, six uh, grenades for you to put in. And an MP5 with the magazine, and then a effect piece. And then a pistol with the magazine. And it comes with two alternate heads. We have the regular and then angry and then the beat up head. Then uh, we have a bunch of hands. We have grasping hands, a pair of fists, some gesture hands, and then two trigger finger hands. So this here is the Punisher figure itself. All right, I uh, just want to do a close up on the weaponry first. And uh, here's the grenade launcher. You rotate the back section, and here expose uh, six barrels for the six grenades. You can slide those in if you want, but I don't think it's really necessary because um, you're not gonna see it when you're uh, displaying it. And uh, here's that rifle, nicely painted, even though it's molded out of one color only, and it does have a uh, weathering effect on it. And here's the removable mag uh, removable magazine. There's the second one. And then uh, here's a good look at the MP5. Again, removable magazine. And the little pistol. Which is awesome that they did all these magazines for it. They could have easily uh, just kept all those out, but uh, I'm glad they did it. And here's a closer look at the head sculpts. We have the generic face, generic head, and then the very angry looking head. Nicely painted and uh, they did a really good job with the shadows and the and the and the and the uh, scars on his face here. And then here's the beat up one. It's really good. He definitely got a swollen eye right there some scars, and a band-aid around his nose. And there's the rest of them. Uh, he comes with a, <clears throat> a white skull vest on, and then a removable belt, and a pair of black pants. The reason I mention these, uh, this uh, pair of black pants is because if you plan on getting the Preview exclusive version, uh, that version does not come with black pants, it comes with a brownish color pair of pants, but that figure comes with a lot more accessories than this. Uh, it looks like this one has a lot, but uh, if you get the preview exclusive version, uh, you're going to get way more uh, as far as uh, accessories. And one thing I didn't like about this figure is the fact that he has a white skull vest on. Um, I prefer the white skull to be printed on the shirt itself, but uh, it's kind of cool the fact that they did this. And here's a good look at the backside of the vest and the rest of the body. And uh, he comes with a removable knife as well, which I forgot to mention earlier. And he has elbow pads on his uh, shirt here. Really cool looking figure. And another thing I'm not too fond about is how wide the shoulders are. Um, not sure whether that's accurate or not. Uh, to me, a character like this, I mean, he should be big and buff, but the shoulders just seems a bit too wide. Alright, and here I got Punisher holding on to his uh, grenade launcher. And one thing I do want to mention is that uh, I wish he came with a hand that could actually grip these weapons 
uh, properly. Uh, the, you can see the foregrip right here. If he has a tighter grip on it, it would have been cool. Because uh, he has two weapons that has a foregrip. Uh, this grenade launcher and also the MP5. So you know, I wish he came with a hand that could grip these uh, tighter. Would have been nice. And then uh, if you look at the grenade launcher here, on the back, that folding stock right there, it has a hinge up there. Not sure why that's necessary, but uh, it's there. So yeah, head sculpts are amazing with this figure. There's a lot of options for posability with this figure because uh, he comes with uh, three different expressions. So there's a lot of possibilities, and since he comes with a lot of hands and weapons, yeah, endless possibilities. Alright, and here I got Punisher at a very generic pose with him holding two weapons, just standing around. And uh, you can kind of see that he could shoulder a weapon nicely because of the double jointed elbows, which could give you a little over 90 degrees uh, bend. And uh, the wrists are on a ball hinge joint and head. It's on a ball joint and base of the neck, there's another ball joint. So as far as range, it's uh, quite a lot. He could look down about that much. And look up about that much. And since uh, shoulders are on a f uh, ball hinge joint, he has full range. And nothing around the chest uh, waist. There is a ball joint, but it is hindered by the vest and the belt. The hips are on a ball hinge joint, uh, on a ball joint, so again, full range of motion. And if you remove the belt, you kind of see what's the range he has as far as the hips. Could go up to about 90 degrees, and then double jointed knees can give you way over 90 degrees bend, and ball jointed ankles, which is somewhat limited. So after messing with this guy for a bit, uh, I think my favorite combination would be the beat up head while he's holding on to the pistol and the MP5. Yeah, that's my go-to on display would be this option here. And uh, so overall, I highly, highly recommend this figure. Uh, it comes with quite a lot of accessories, a huge amount of accessories actually. and. Um, if you can find the preview exclusive version, that might be the way to go. That's going to cost a little bit more. It's going to cost you about 130 for the preview exclusive. But uh, I've seen some online retailers are sold out of that one already. But this one's going to set you back about 80 bucks. It's not bad. I mean, the rest of these 112 scale figures are all the same price, around roughly around 65 to 80, depend, depending on the character. And Punisher, it's a very well known character from the Marvel Universe. And it is a character that I was actually my first uh, Marvel character for, the, for this uh, Mesco 112 line. And here I got. Two other to compare with, we have Spock from the Star Trek line, and then Batman from the Dawn of Justice line. And here you can see Punisher, it's about the same height as the rest of them, which is accurate, I guess, because uh, these are the 112 scale, so they should all kind of uh, fit each with each other, I guess. Yeah, so there you go, he's going to set you back, 80 bucks. Worth it, highly recommend this, lots of options for you to mix and match and all that stuff and yeah totally worth it so there you go there's the mesco 112 scale punisher thanks for watching